Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves uh, in Sonora, California with Thomas Pumphrey, the sovereign citizen. And recently he got his van towed and he is trying to get it out of the tow yard. But he is unable to do so because, of course, he lacks the proper paperwork such as driver's license and everything like that. So he is pretty much rejected. So this video is 45 minutes long, but I'm not going to subject you to that because most of it is just him rummaging around his vehicle anyway, trying to get everything out. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What the reality is, guys, tow truck companies are thieves with a license to steal. Oh, poor little guy. You, you but heard about uh, having to have your vehicle towed because you didn't have the proper paper work or anything like that on your vehicle? Well, dude, that's entirely on you. And in some countries, you get your vehicle turned into a cube for your trouble. So you might as well be grateful that that didn't happen to it yet. Hello, I'm here. Come get my stuff out the white van there. Okay, and then I need another ID. Alright, yep. It's off. Uh, I'll take it real quick just a moment. Thank you. Dangerous getting over that road there. There's like impasses. Yeah, people are wild out here. Yeah. Let me get a cop and I'll be right back. Alright, thank, thank you. Alright, uh, he's gonna move it forward for me so I can get my stuff. Pops right off every time. Still runs good. I don't know, no reason why it wouldn't, you know, but. <sighs> Thanks, man. Many, many minutes later. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I, uh... Palmy County with the transfer is gentleman's at Vic's towing said he found a stolen vehicle. He's sitting in it, and he wants us there to release it. Go ahead, please, sir. Okay. Yep, yep, Hi, so... The North Police Department. Hi, this is Thomas Humphrey calling. Um, I uh, located my stolen vehicle, and I'm sitting in it right now, and I need the Sheriff's Department to come out here to uh, validate ownership, and um, I need them to come out to release, because they're holding my vehicle illegally. So, um... I have proof of ownership and you know they 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 they're holding it illegally so i'm not i'm not leaving my van until i get a sheriff to come out here uh dude uh your vehicle was not towed illegally in fact in the state of california they do that if you don't have your proper paperwork your license registration or anything like that your vehicle is going to get towed because no state wants to have any unlicensed or uninsured motorists on the public roadways wreaking havoc with that system you freaking moron what's your name sir thomas humphrey It's not registered. I don't register my property to the government. Okay. All right, Thomas. Um, are you inside the gated area? Uh, yeah, I'm inside my van right now. The gate's open, okay. and my 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 uh van is partially the nose is outside of the gated area. But I'm not leaving my van until you guys come up here and get them to release my vehicle to me. Yeah, well, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take my van from here because you know I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything that you guys consider to be criminal. I'm not leaving my property. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll be out there in just a little bit, okay? Can you guys hang tight for a minute? Yep, yep, no worries. Thank you. And yeah, uh, so we'll just go ahead and skip on ahead because if not. There's still 20 minutes left in this video that, well, is probably a bunch of circular reasoning anyway on his part. So, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. 15 minutes later. I understand you called? Yep. What's going on so, um, this is my private property. Okay. I've never registered it to the government. 
So it gives you guys or Vicks Towing no jurisdiction over it. It's private property. Okay. And the Fourth Amendment protects my right to privacy. And, and we shall not be deprived of our life, liberty, or property without due, due process of law. Well, my smooth brain, soft tarred friend, I've shown it a thousand times on my channel already. The Tenth Amendment grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And I've already shown plenty of times that every state does make their own laws regarding uh, insurance, driver's licenses, and registration. You didn't get this vehicle registered for it to be on the roadways. Sure, you can live in it all you want, but the moment that it goes on to the public road systems is when you've got to have it licensed, registered, and insured, and everything like that. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It will get towed in many states. So in them taking my property, I'm desperate too, man. I'm under duress right now, and I'm, I feel like I'm back home. Look at my mattress. I live in here, okay? Everything I own is in here. I travel, and I've been living in here for three years, okay? So I don't know what else to do. I've, I, I, I've tried to, you know, get them to release my vehicle. I talked to CP, uh, CHP. They won't take a complaint of, of you know what I'm saying? Because they, 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 they consider this to be lawful, but... Where's my due process? You know, you understand due process? I do. Yeah, that means I have a right to be heard before you guys can deprive me of my property. I have a right to a hearing. I have a right to present evidence. I have a right to cross-examine witnesses. I have a right to appeal a decision so, before before I can be deprived of my property. That is basic understanding of law. Where is justice? Are you a law enforcement officer? Where is the law at in this? I do believe we have here a failure to communicate because you have been given notice of court appearances before which is where the due process takes place in the courts not out on the streets you freaking dumbass because if you knew about due process then you should know it's not a street kind of thing it's a court kind of thing so why don't you take your happy ass to court and get this solved oh wait there's a problem there. You softards generally don't win these cases anyway because, well, you think you know the law, so you go pro se and you end up getting creamed. I have due process rights. I demand due process right now. Take, where, where's my due process? Sorry. Before you guys can take my property from me. And they, they've already they've already filed a lien sale and they said they can, they can legally sell my property whenever they want to. That is a violation of, I'm sorry, sorry. That, that is a violation of due process. Okay. So how did your vehicle get here in the first place? I was pulled over by the California Highway Patrol. Okay. How long ago was that? August 8th. August 8th? Yeah. Okay. What did they pull you over for? Because I have We the People license plates. It's a constitutional license plate with the Constitution. It says We the People with an American flag on it, which you guys take an oath to protect and defend. So, you know, that's why he pulled me over because he said um, I didn't have proper uh, license plates on there. Okay. So, basically, long story short is it got towed for not being registered. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then you said you've already contacted CHP. And they refused to take my complaint. I called the sheriff's department mm -hmm. because, obviously, there's a conflict of interest in filing a complaint with the responsible party. So they refused to uh, come out and they sent CP, uh, you know, the California Highway Patrol. So we, we can't take a, a complaint for another agency, right? So I can take a complaint for my agency as a supervisor. A supervisor for the sheriff's office comes out, takes a complaint for them. A supervisor will come out for CHP and take a complaint for the California Highway Patrol. Right, but what happens when someone violates their ambiguity, their, 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 their bounds of authority. They've stepped outside of their bounds. They no longer have um, immunity from the law. That means I can hold them liable in their personal capacity. Right, and then that, so, that's when it comes into the civil proceedings, right? The, the civil yeah, court hearings. Too. Right. And so that's kind of the avenue that we're in right now. Right. So you're, you're disagreeing with your car getting towed. Exactly. So the civil the, proceedings, why is my vehicle in 
lawful because possession of them and they can sell it now. So we haven't even gone through anything yet. We haven't gone through the process of due process in order for them to, to lawfully take possession of my vehicle. So I'm not going to speak to the tow company because yeah. I'm not well versed in once a vehicle gets towed by us and then it becomes, you know, a vehicle that is stored because it was not legally driven on the road. And then once that goes into the lien sale process, I don't know that those ins and outs. So I don't want to speak to that and give you wrong information. Right, right. So, but I, you I, see what I'm saying though? Where, where, where is the connection? Where is the, it's a major disconnect. If California Highway Patrol is responsible for towing it and putting an impound and hold, putting a hold on it, they should not be able to move forward until due process is lawful. I have not been heard in court at all. I have not been able to present evidence or anything. And I was told by them that they could sell my vehicle at any time, at any moment. So that is why I'm, I'm inside my home right now. And I was, I'm not leaving until a law enforcement officer verify I, I have evidence. This is, my, this is what I need to present to you. That is legal ownership. That is my bill of sale from the dealership. I am the lawful owner of this vehicle. So and they're saying that they let, own it now. Let, let me give you this information. So I have no authority to release this vehicle because right. I am not the agency and the authority that towed the vehicle. Okay. So the only person or the only people that can allow this vehicle to be released from here would be the California Highway Patrol. Okay. Can I have no authority to say, I'm going to release your vehicle to you and let yep. you drive away. I, I understand. No so my hands are tied can you please have the sheriff's department come out here because I, that's i can ask the california highway patrol no i the need this is, is not going to come out they're going to advise you that this is a civil matter yeah. between the tow company and yourself yeah okay and so the only person like i said the only person that can give any sort of authority to release this vehicle would be the california highway patrol i don't have the, that authority and the sheriff's office doesn't have that authority only the originating agency Right, but do you see the conflict of interest? Like, if I was a criminal and I had a, I had an but organization. State agency. Yeah, they right. Have, they have an oversight committee. Yeah, right. So but any complaint that's going to be reviewed by an oversight com committee to see if this is founded or unfounded. There's mm -hmm. a whole process. We have to report to the state. Everything is out in the open, right? So yeah, yeah. SB two came out and it made it to where if there's complaints that has to be of certain nature, those are. Reported to Sacramento to Post, mm -hmm. which is our certifying agency, and then they can look into that and say, "Hey, this investigation was done properly, or this investigation wasn't done properly." So there is oversight. Right. So my, my biggest thing right now is I don't want my property to be sold. They can literally sell it at any time. Okay. So is there because because they. I've already talked to the California Highway Patrol, and they said they have nothing to do with the lien sale as well but that's that's inaccurate because they're the ones holding it well gee dude maybe if you had actually gone to court and gotten all this taken care of you wouldn't be in this situation to begin with because when they pull you over they give you a court date to get make sure that it gets taken care of but i guess you don't want to do that huh so you're gonna have to suffer the consequences of that so well say goodbye to your vehicle so let's just go ahead and skip on to the end because I'm getting tired of hearing this guy whine and complain because he's a freaking total moron who doesn't know how to take care of business. Five minutes later. There another way yeah. To address it later. Yeah, no. And so, how's it going? Thomas, how are you? Good. Under duress, man. I'm in my property now. And if I, the re I don't want them to sell it. So okay. that is that's we've talked about this ad nauseum, right? No, right, right. But right. but that is my that's what I'm attempting right now is to get them. Look, this is donated to me. I have yeah. a traveling ministry. I don't have I, an I income. Understand. Like I said, I live in here, and we have gotten all your documents. Yeah, right? yeah. We've got them all. We've talked several times on this. Exactly. Right? So the way it's got to play out, right, is in order for you to get the car. Like I told you today, yeah. there's certain requirements for that to happen: license and registration. Right. If you don't, right, and we're going to, uh, uh, again, for the millionth time, yeah. we are going to agree to disagree on exactly. the laws of California. Right? right. Okay. I'm just going off what, you know, and you you disagree with it, but that's the way it's, it's we're going to agree to disagree on that. Right. You've either got to pay the registration and be licensed, or you're not going to get it out. Okay? I understand. So, 
Are you here to pick up your stuff like you said you were going yep, to Yeah, I got my stuff, but okay. I want to prevent the tow truck company from selling my property. Okay. Until I have an opportunity to present, I know, but until I have an opportunity to present evidence to a judge and have my proper standing in court, okay. that should that should be you know that that's proper due process. That is what I am attempting right now. I get it. And and look at when I leave this van, my home, I very well may never come back. I very well may never sit in this seat again. So that's why I'm under duress, sir. Too you know, I don't okay. know what else to do. You guys that's have a the camera, right? That's not yeah. a mace. Okay. No, that's okay. a camera. Yeah. I, you guys have the authority. You, have right. the, you know, I, I'm not going to fight you guys, but what else can I do as a citizen? All I can do is gather evidence of the unjust treatment right. that and I'm receiving. You've sent us a, a ton of that, right? And, yeah. we've, and we've received it all. Right, right. Right. And so you've gathered all your evidence. No, right? this is further evidence. And that's my fine. last, my last. But what we're doing here, we're, we're on this gentleman's business now, and you're, yep. you're causing an issue there. You're trespassing now. Okay. Well, this is my property, and you you understand what I'm saying? No, no, no. Okay, this is you. It is technically their property right now. Okay. Okay. It is their property because we rightfully had them under our direction tow this car, which means it's their property, right? If you took this car right now and drove it out, we would charge you with vehicle theft. Wow. Yeah, I, I understand that. You know yeah. What I mean? So yeah, it's yeah. their property. It is their close of business. They want to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I believe he said he would give you till five o'clock, right, Scott? Five today? Was it five today to get his property out inside? Five today? Okay, so you're you're yeah. you're you're past that. So yeah. I know they want to go home. We want to go home. Yeah, right. Yeah. These gentlemen want to go home. Right? So, so 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 check it out. Okay. I it things take time and in order. I'm I'm filing a complaint with the attorney general's office. Yep. Right. Yep. So. In order for, I believe that that's going to be what's going to put the estoppel on them from moving forward. Okay. But again, you got to see my dilemma. I don't know what else to do. You know what I'm saying? It takes time. I got to, I got to gather everything together and put it in a presentable form to them because right. they, they, I sent them an email and they sent sent me back and they said, we don't accept complaints over email. And they Who? gave me the, uh, the, the, um, G attorney general's office, oh, okay. his assistant emailed me back and they said, we don't accept complaints over email, but we are looking forward to receiving your complaint and sent me the link to, to, to file it. But I'm in the process of working on that right now, but things take time and I, I'm up against the clock to them. They literally told me they can sell it at any moment. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's what the laws in California allow them to do. Okay. And you might not agree with those laws, Yep, yep. right? But that's what the laws in California allow them to, they're not doing anything that is illegal. Okay. Unfortunately. Like I said, I know we disagree on that. Exactly. As yeah. we're gonna, as we've talked about numerous times. Yep, yep. But they're not doing anything illegal. Okay? So, you, you, you are responsible in putting the hold on the vehicle. So, can you I put you a today. hold on them from selling it until I get this complaint done? I told you, you're responsible, okay, for getting the vehicle out by two things. Like I've, like I've told you several times, registration and license, right? If you do not do that right then they're going to proceed with with their procedures that is you know selling allowable my, by california state law selling my property that is allowable by california state law the, it is your choice not to comply with the licensing and registration requirements of the state and whether you agree with it or not okay you're required to comply and if you do not these are the ramifications unfortunately for you yeah, yeah right absolutely. i understand yeah and so that's yeah. and they're just doing their job based on our our request right we, we they they towed it on our behalf Right, and now they're acting upon when someone doesn't come, um, and and you know. So pretty much down. licensed theft. Oh, that's how you want to think of it. Yeah, it is. But okay, um, so what I'm right. going to do right now? Just grab your stuff, Thomas, and we're going to get this process going. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I appreciate good. it so much. Yep. Yep. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, dude, it's all your damn fault. You sat on your ass for all these months trying to figure out a way to not do it the right way. So if you had done it in the proper fashion, you would have already had it out already. You would have gotten your driver's license and, and registration and everything like that. Oh, you would have been driving off the lot with no problem. But no, you decided to be a real dumbass and uh, act like, well, be a soft R, not act like when you are one. And now you're paying the price with your vehicle being towed away and 
Well, now you've lost total control of it. Sucks to be you, moron. Next time, maybe you'll actually read the laws and understand what they actually are because, well, this sovereign citizen bullshit just doesn't really work. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?